A hashtag with so much truth behind it. Salisbury Rocks. It's a reference to the Salisbury Rock Garden where you're encouraged to take or leave a rock with an inspirational message. That's just one of the million reasons why Salisbury Rocks. Our next stop is another one. For six years now, Rody Joe's Bar and Grill on West Main Street has incorporated a little quirky and a lot of fun into its mission to serve some of the finest, most flavorful food you'd ever eat. And they don't plan on slowing down anytime soon, as we hear from 1025 WBOC's Corey Phoebus. You know, historic downtown Salisbury is a beautiful place, even if you're just walking around. But there are some changes happening. Some are happening right under your nose. For example, Rody Joe's, one of the top hot fun spots of downtown Salisbury, is undergoing uh, quite a bit of a facelift, right? This is Jeremy Absolutely. Norton. Jeremy, how are you, man? I'm doing well, man. Thank you. Now, I know you guys are going through some changes. I, I know you guys are busy, but yeah. what's up with the Halloween decorations? Why are they still up? Uh, we're going to be adding all of our Christmas decorations on top of all of our Halloween decorations and rocking it all the way through the new year. So you're keeping them up? May they as look, well. They look cool. Hey, there's more to come. Another thing that looks cool is the brand new entrance. I mean, you guys didn't have this how long ago? I mean, six months ago, yeah. it was still under construction, so it's very new. So what are some other changes that people can expect coming in? Uh, well, we've got a brand new entrance with a full host stand. Um, we've also got an upstairs that's about to open. Uh, we'll be having full swing golf simulators and some banquet space up there for rent. Yeah, I noticed that when we were up there, it is still under construction, but it, it's going to be a beautiful spot. Now, what made you guys think of doing something like this? Uh, you know, it was actually a buddy of mine mentioned something to me about it, and uh, we realized that there was nothing like that in the area. There wasn't an area that you could go on the Eastern Shore. So we decided to bring it here. So we're going to have uh, catering up there. Yeah wedding venue stuff, oh, yeah. rehearsal dinners, oh, yeah. and you guys are all doing this while still under construction. I mean, what's the what's the, the life been? Must be busy. <laughs> it's fun. Yeah? No. <laughs> construction <laughs> is terrible, but uh, it'll all be worth it in the end, as it always is. So you still have your standard staple menu options. Is there anything different that's been added? Uh, no, we are just really, really pushing our specials. Um, Chef is absolutely fantastic. Um, our menu items are our core menu items, and you know every day we have between seven and ten new specials. Um, Mondays are vegetarian Mondays, so we're gearing most of our specials on that day towards vegetarians. And, sure. Uh, just lots of great menu items that are just continuously rolling through. Now, this is a cool family-friendly spot in Salisbury, but you've also got some entertainment happening throughout the week sometimes as well, right? Oh, absolutely. We've got karaoke every Wednesday and Thursday night at 10 o'clock. Uh, we've got open mic comedy, which isn't exactly kid-friendly. Um, those are every third Thursday. Okay. Um, at night, we've typically got a late-night band or DJ. And then Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, we've got happy hour acoustic bands um, when the weather's nice outside. but now that it's not so getting that way uh, sure. on the inside. So. Now I have to ask, and you can feel free to call out whoever it is, all the old buildings, downtown Salisbury is absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Whose idea was it to modernize the inside? Uh, I can tell you, we, we actually have a new landlord, uh, a local group, uh, the Davis Strategic Group. Okay. Uh, they purchased this building about a year ago and they're completely renovating everything. Um, they're giving us a brand new glass elevator for the main uh, building. Um, they're redoing all the floors that haven't been updated since the 70s. Uh, Fantastic, so it's an exciting time for everybody involved. Yeah, absolutely. Fantastic, all right, Jeremy, thank you so much for absolutely. taking time to talk with me. Thank you. I'm gonna go get some food and I'll see you guys a little bit later. And I love Rody Joe's. Now the team there often posts the specials on social media. Things like broccoli cheddar soup, a buffalo veggie nugget wrap, lemon garlic herb chicken. They do it all. And we'll link that site to delmarvelife.com so you can check it out for yourself. But if you can just hang out for a few more minutes, you'll see another dish popular at Rody Joe's. That's because we are making cheesesteak in the Delmarva Life kitchen as our small town series continues.